On this episode of With Intention, we're gonna talk about what it's like to be a true leader. Welcome to With Intention, this is John Giganti. Welcome back, um, thanks for watching. I wanna share with you a couple stories today and we're gonna to talk about leadership. Um, I'm fortunate to lead a, a sales team now in the last nine months or so and uh, it got me thinking uh, back a few years as, as along the way in the journey and uh, a couple stories I wanted to share. So, um, man, I got, I got a phone call probably five or six years ago now from a client that said, hey, essentially we're, we want to leave uh, the partnership with your company. And man, that's a tough call to get. This is a, a pretty long-term partner of ours, someone I was pretty close to, and we just weren't adding the value they wanted to. We weren't, weren't meeting the mark for them. And uh, it, was, it was a tough time. It's, it's embarrassing. Um, I think initially I probably was blaming other people, um, kind of had a victim mindset with it. And, uh, and struggled uh, with it. Along, um, the, around the same time, my wife called me out and essentially said, hey, you're not leading our family the way I think you should. And I would say even more than the business piece, the personal piece really hit, hit home and, and super disheartening to hear that. Um, again, embarrassing and, and you know, I'm sure I, I, I battled and we debated about it and uh, kind of that victim mindset again, you know, you gotta, you gotta dig deep when you hear that stuff. And I think really I was a selfish leader, a selfish mindset. So today I'm gonna share with you some lessons learned and uh, how you can incorporate that into your life from a leadership standpoint. So what does it mean to be a good leader? Let's talk about that now. I think really what it comes down to is, are you a servant leader or, or are you a selfish leader? And there's, they're distinctly different from each other. You hear the terms uh, servant leadership a lot, but I think it's, it's so appropriate and so true. How do you serve others? If you're thinking of others first before yourself, that's a definition of, of servant leadership. If you're selfish and you're thinking about yourself first, that's where you get in trouble. So I think that's the key thing. I've got a, a, a great, there's a great picture of, um, in my, one of my clients' offices, and it's a guy um, that is basically pointing at his team from above, and it's, I think it says boss on it, and it says, um, you know, he's basically forcing his team to do work. That's a selfish leader. And then on the flip side below it, you have a, a true leader, a servant leader, that's literally dragging his team with them. Um, that's, that's the way you need to lead. When I think about it and, and what that means, how, how do you do that? How do you become a servant leader? It's all well and good to, to say it, but how do you do it? And I think it, it's a couple things. One, it's engagement. So any type of team you have, again, work team, family, whatever it is, whatever environment you're in, how do you engage? So when you're talking to someone, are you listening? Are you um, trustworthy? Are you um, really actively participating in whatever it is? Are you there for them? I also think about what energy you bring to the table. What type of attitude? Are you positive? Are you encouraging? Um, and I think that's really, you know, the, the third thing there is, are you a builder? Can you build or are you building into your team? So that's a consistent process. It doesn't mean you don't have difficult conversations, um, but it does mean you're constantly trying to, to push them and just build into them. Encouragement, um, fill in their bucket when, when it's not filled up. Um, actually sometimes calling them out in, a, in really a, a, a truth and love type of way that you're really trying to help them get better. That's all part of it too. It's that, that consistent building up. So when I think about servant leadership versus selfish leadership and where I was in kind of that selfish leadership victim mindset state, um, I'm happy to tell you that that client that, that made that call is, is we were able to save that business through a consistent process of adding value and contributing and serving them. And they're a thriving uh, partner to this day now, which is uh, amazing. Um, and also with my wife, Michelle, if she was in the room and she was talking to you here, she would talk about um, our relationship. And by the grace of God, we, uh, we, we do have a thriving relationship now. It doesn't come without challenges, but that I think that taking ownership for me and becoming more of a servant leader at, uh, at home has been really transformational. 
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Our goal here is to add value to you on a, a consistent basis, and I'm excited to tell you that we're gonna be uh, shooting more often. Josh Moore, who's amazing behind the camera, we're gonna, gonna be shooting more consistently, and, and we're also gonna be bringing some interviews to the table, so with other thought leaders uh, to talk about living and leading a life of intention, uh, we're gonna bring that to you here soon. So thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next episode.